Now there are loads of great tools out there we dig, like WordStream, SpyFu, SEMrush, Keyword Spy, and Ubersuggest, and there's so many more too. But at the top of the heap is the Google Keyword Planner. And although it might not be perfect, it's easy, it's free, and it has tons of educational elements for you to explore. It also is gonna give us insight into the big player, Google. Now, although this tool is intended for Google AdWord, which is paid, we're actually gonna use it to complete some research and get ideas so you can better rank in those organic results that we've been talking about. Now, the planner is gonna help you find out what people in your area, as well as worldwide, are actually typing into that search box. It's also gonna help you in finding out stats surrounding your seed list and provide long tail keyword suggestions you might not have even thought of yet. So if you've already got a Google account of some kind, maybe Gmail, you can access the tool right now. If not, create a Google account and you can get started at adwords.google.com slash keyword planner. Once you log into the planner, go to tools and then select keyword planner from the list. Right here are just some of the educational materials that I mentioned earlier. There are power tips, video tutorials, and even industry specific information to help guide you in your decision making. Also, just so you know, there's tons of stuff out there on the internet. This is just yet another reason why we love this tool for beginners. The goal of this video is to introduce you to the tools and its basic features so that you can get rolling. Now, each of you are gonna be a little bit different based on the industry you've chosen and the current status of your business. However, this video will serve as a great jumping off point for everyone. So, what would you like to do? Well, we've got a lot of options here, but we're gonna search for new keyword and ad group ideas. Go ahead and enter about five to 10 keywords from your seed list. You can throw them all in there at once, but you're gonna get a more variety if you just do five to 10. Below, you'll find all kinds of targeting information. If you don't have the information to enter here or you're just kinda unsure, you can leave these fields blank. It's really not a big deal, especially when you're starting out. We do want you to know that the reason they're asking for this information is so their suggestions can be even more targeted and relevant. So it might be something you wanna tinker with down the road. If you do have some of this information right now, feel free to set some parameters like your landing page or even some targeting information for your location. Don't overlook these great question mark pop-ups either. They're all throughout the tool and they're really helpful. When you're ready, go ahead and click the big blue button that says get ideas. From here, you'll be able to see your entries here at the top. You can always add more ideas and just tinker around with what you've entered and then click get ideas once more to refresh the page and the results. Below, you only really need to worry about this area right here. The rest of the information is intended for creating AdWords campaigns, which again is a paid service. So here, you'll find two tabs labeled ad group ideas and keyword ideas. Keyword ideas is a great place to start. You will find out quickly that some of the suggested long tail keywords in this list will be relevant to what you're selling and some won't, and that's okay. So if it's easier for you, you can download your list into a spreadsheet, which will give you the ability to delete and color code and do whatever it is you need to do to be organized. Now to the right, you may view a graph of each suggested keyword, which will help you identify trends for a particular keyword or keyword group. Finally, you can take a look at the average monthly searches column. This will show you the average number of times people have searched for this exact keyword based on the targeting settings that you've selected earlier. Do know that you can sort these suggestions from highest to lowest if you'd like. Now, the overall goal right now is to try and identify that Goldilocks range we talked about. Again, that happy medium. Remember, you don't want too many average monthly searches where you get lost in the shuffle and you don't want too few that you're not getting any traffic at all. All this is very much dependent on your industry and those planner tips from earlier can come in really handy as everyone is gonna be a little bit different. Now let me explain this a little bit. Let's say you're in a really popular industry like women's clothing or women's shoes. Your average monthly searches would be more likely a great deal higher than someone who's selling something like mouth harps. The demand is just different and there are pros and cons to each end of the spectrum. Jot down your ideas and start tinkering with some of the suggestions this tool is providing to you. Keep throwing more at your seed list, again, five to 10 at a time in the Get Ideas box. You will look to identify 10 to 15 keywords that are closely related, perhaps even some synonyms for your top five to 10 products first. This will give you a great list to pull from as you create all that valuable content for your store.
So start to think about those additional content pieces like your About Us page, your mission statement, your Frequently Asked Questions page, and more. We'll help you with this in later videos and talk about how to sprinkle in those keywords to specific locations within your content. The main goal right now though is to make some educated guesses and get some valuable content up on your site. We'll then show you how to track it all and make sure you're hitting that moving target.